Okay, uh, this is like a introductory combat, how to actually attack a person. Um, I want to start this video with an actually good tip for the people who accidentally are watching this video. Um, I'm looking at you, uh, big guys on the kill event. Uh, basically, raise your hand if you ever saw somebody and you wanted to click on their base and attack them and send troops, but when you clicked, you clicked on their APC and it just gave you the attack time. Quinn, raise your hand, Quinn. I know it was you. Um, this happens a lot. It sucks. You you teleport. You know you're like okay, I I, I want to be right here, and you can't, or you get there and you can't attack them because their APCs are hitting things right next to them. Um, all you need to do is one very simple thing. Zoom in. If you zoom in on the base, the APC shrinks on your screen, and you can actually click on the corner of the base, and now I can attack. Um, there you go, that's it. That will shave a couple seconds off of your attack. Um, that is the advanced tip and trick. Uh, the rest of this will be pretty simple. Uh, the goal is really to say, how can I find somebody and say, boom, I need to hit this person or not? Because when it comes to a kill event, Time is of the essence, and we need to find a way to make a good, quick decision. So, the number one most important thing is who has the better troops, right? You can either have T5, T6, T7, or T8 or as the tier of troops, which is the most common. So what you need to know is when do you get those? Uh, at level 16, you get tier 6 troops. So if your army is tier six and you see someone at 15 or under, you can blindly attack them. You do not need to think about anything unless you're doing something wrong, you are stronger by default. If your army is tier seven, that happens at 19. So at 18 and under, easy, you can attack these people without really worrying about what they have available. It's, it's not up to anything else because you literally have a stronger army, assuming you have, you know, tier seven troops. Um, that same rule applies to missiles. Uh, you get them at level 19. And once you build the anti-missile system, you get like a dozen free anti-missiles. So... Do not send a missile at somebody level 19 and up because they have a dozen anti-missiles and you will not hit them. Uh, we already talked about zooming in. Again, if somebody missed it for whatever reason, if you zoom in, it is significantly easier to actually click on a base and hit attack. Uh, that is an easy way that you can get there when all these APCs are out in a cluster um, and you can't get somebody. Uh, next. Hit info. What do they have? How much might do they have? How much power? Personally, at my level, if somebody is below 1.5 to 1.7 million, they can't have a full APC. You can't do it. So I know if I'm going to be hitting somebody under 1.5 million power, I'm hitting somebody's 50% APC or somebody's 75% APC. So I'm already going to be at an advantage. So especially on a Sunday and you're seeing people with less might because they've been fighting all weekend, that is a great way to see if you already have an advantage. And as I put in one of my other videos is how to actually load your APC to still get bonuses when you do have a low troop count. So watch the other videos. Um, the last one is just a, as a defender, you know, I'm a trader. I'm not a farmer. I don't have resource protection. If I did at my level being 20, I could probably protect about 2 million resources a piece. Something that's, uh, they changed in a recent update that people weren't aware of, but was always there is your alliance due to their tech research 
can give you a half million. Boom. So depending on what your resources are, I have a depot protect protection of a half million of everything right now. So if you're worried about uh, getting zeroed or attacked, you know, keep in mind what does your alliance contribute to your own personal resource protection. And again, that's across everything. So they're all weighed the same. Uh, so if you if for you personally having, you know, uh, 500,000 of something carries a lot of weight for you, you're still safe. You don't actually have to worry about anything. So keep that in mind as you're out there fighting. And again, those are the basic introductory elements of how to 